apresentando Luiz King Kong Ortiz. Elite fighter or anything like that, but he was uh, he had ambition. Luis King Kong Ortiz, glory, pain, blood, and tears. It all made a thorny fighter, a fighting machine that endures in challenging clashes. Luis King Kong Ortiz. But in addition to the effort, they also need the opportunity to create miracles. Given the influence of age and the recent defeat at the hands of Andy Ruiz, what's next for King Kong Ortiz? Let's check out the video. But before we hit the video, remember, hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that icon bell. That way you won't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. Andy Ruiz floors Luis Ortiz three times in a unanimous decision victory. The third loss in Ortiz's long career, and before that, King Kong was defeated by Deontay Wilder twice. Let's flip back to 2018. Heavyweight Luis Ortiz nearly knocked heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder out and left him out on his feet in the seventh round, but Wilder came back three rounds later and knocks out the Cuban slugger with an onslaught of powerful right and left hands in front of 14,069 people at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Center as King Kong trudges forward, a right hand down! It was a vicious right uppercut by Wilder that ended the night for Ortiz, who went down for the second time in the 10th round, where referee David Fields stops the fight at 2.05. Ortiz, who was 38 years old at the time, suffered the first loss of his career. Boom! Now let's look at 2019. A single right cross from Wilder split the guard of Ortiz and dropped him against the ropes. Ortiz could crawl to his knees, and he did rise at the count of 10, but referee Kenny Bayless waved the fight off at 251 after looking into Ortiz's eyes. Despite those painful defeats, Ortiz's passion for boxing and his desire for the world championship title has never left. He had a remarkable track record during his amateur career. He was reportedly 343 and 19 as an amateur. He was a longtime member of the Cuban national team without succeeding at the top international level. He holds amateur wins over notable Cuban fighters, including Mike Perez. In 2005 alone, Ortiz won three prestigious titles. Despite being a boxer with excellent fighting experience, Ortiz has never won a world championship. It's what he always hoped for and strived for in every match. But that third defeat of his career in the match against Andy Ruiz makes the road to the world championship further and further away. So what's next for Luis Ortiz after those three losses? King Kong is now standing at a crossroad of his boxing career and literally his whole life. He has options, many, but there are probably two that are most likely. The first, continue your boxing career. The Cuban boxer has many reasons to fight, the title of world champion is something every boxer wants, and so does Ortiz. However, perhaps the most decisive and important reason for Ortiz is his daughter. He needs to continue to bring attention to the plight of his daughter, Liz Mercedes, who suffers from a special skin condition. We actually would never have seen Ortiz go pro if it wasn't for his daughter's life-threatening skin disease. To be frank, 
Continuing to compete can be costly in terms of the daughter's medical treatment. And of course, he wants to make a good living for as long as he can. They found a, a sickness. Uh, it was something that was very bad. And she was born with a necrosis in one of her fingers. And the doctors wanted to amputate the finger. And, you know, I was crazy. So if he continues to box, who will be the potential opponents for Luis Ortiz? King Kong Ortiz is working hard to name super heavyweights like Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, despite the 43-year-old suffering those heavy defeats to Andy Ruiz Jr. earlier this month. However, the possibility of Ortiz getting consent from the British couple is very low. Therefore, a few other names may be more suitable for Ortiz, like Dylan White, Kubrat Pelev, and Joseph Parker. The second option is retire and coach other young talent. Ortiz is very skilled. He has power. He's dangerous early but he's old to be a fighter. At present, his movement and athleticism, his speed, his overall reflexes, his chin, and his conditioning have all degraded. And with the speed of aging of the body and the effects of age, it's a big disadvantage for King Kong in every round, and every opponent, and every one of the same rank. Therefore, retirement with Ortiz is entirely possible, even if he doesn't give up. His age and his physical condition are not going to wait. As proof, let's look back at those most recent matches. A few years ago, Ortiz stood as the only fighter to nearly finish Wilder inside a boxing ring before Tyson Fury did it. His technical prowess, his heavy punch routines, it was too much for his opponents to overcome. And Wilder remains impressed by his opponent on fight night, regardless of his age. He was right in the position. Oh. Right there. But most recently, King Kong had a clear decline in the match against Andy Ruiz. Ortiz was put down three times by Ruiz on Sunday night and lost a key step toward his chance to becoming a heavyweight world champion. There's another one. Ortiz beat there. Right hand. Although the Cuban boxer punched more accurately during longer stretches and relative inactivity for both fighters, Ruiz's devastating punches reminded the heavyweight division of his dangerous power. A Southern California native knocked down the 43-year-old Ortiz twice in the second round and again in the seventh, staggering Ortiz before sending him to the canvas with a right to the top of the head. With the speed of aging of the body and the effects of age, it is a disadvantage for King Kong in all competition with any opponent of the same rank. Therefore, retirement is entirely possible. One of those One of those reasons for him to continue, of course, is that championship belt. But as we all know, the prestigious world championship belts are all being held, and it's also set to lead to a unified title fight between the boxers Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, Deontay Wilder, and Andy Ruiz. Even if the official match dates of these rematches are not yet announced, Ortiz would have to wait a long time with slim hope to win or just give up. How do you think Ortiz will choose? Will he retire or not? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget, like, subscribe, and tap that icon bell so you don't miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Landed a counter right hand and dropped Coyote. I mean, some of it I agree with, some I don't. Oh, he's got it out of the oh. He's badly hurt. He doesn't even know where he is. Ortiz. It's over. Watch. Battering. Martin on the ropes.